my nose is burnt, my laptop kills my Jackery box, and I have no inverter to record videos and edit them, and upload them. But we are here at Island Lake, the last day, and I can go home and edit videos on my computer at home. But I'm gonna have to buy an inverter to charge, or yeah, to charge my laptop so that I can edit videos and upload them while I'm out here. Uh, nonetheless, I did enjoy a camera free week and learned how to chronomid fish got eaten by mosquitoes a lot and burnt my nose pretty good but all in all had a great week and tomorrow we're headed home and we will be trying to fix that van and we'll continue uploading some more videos but it was great had an enjoyable time out here learned a lot about a new style of fishing and that's a story for another day because I'm still learning how to do that. <sighs> Alright, catch you tomorrow morning on our way home. Quite literally after I put the camera down and walked up to the campsite, two deer came into the campsite. It's pretty cool. Off we go on our way home. We're just about hit the Coca Cola. It is 10 degrees outside. I am in two, two sweaters, one sleeve shirt. By the time I get down, I'll be open up. Actually, I should probably stop switching to short before I get down because there will be very many places to stop. There will be so many people and I'll have to use the bathroom or something to change so I don't miss everybody. But yeah, it's a good fishing trip all in all. I'm not bringing a fish home today, but that's okay. It was definitely worth the week out on the lake. thing about chronomid fishing, you've got to put in a lot of hours. If you, you don't know how to do it, you're never going to get it. Um, so it's nice to know that I was able to catch one fish on a chronomid. So that's exciting. And next time, when I'm ready to chronomid fish and they're actually biting, we should have some more action. Or, if not, Let's go figure out some more stuff on YouTube and figure out, you know, some better tricks and techniques that we can use to run a fish. Or maybe one day we'll uh, spend a little bit of money and take a guided tour and go fly fishing. Maybe that's an option as well. That might be a video in all in itself is taking a guided fish tour or a fly fishing tour. expert who catches, you know, hundreds of fish a year on a chronomid, because I've never chronomid fished in my entire life, completely 100% new. <laughs> uh, we are under the Coca-Cola. Alright guys, we'll catch you in a sec. So I did make it home. It's hot here. Over there in the bush. Got the car in the front yard. And it was touch and go for a minute there. Wasn't sure I was actually going to make it home, but uh, managed to stick it out. I was ended up doing like 70 kilometers up the hill some places, so I was really extremely worried I wasn't going to get home. 
so now she's got to go in and get fixed. Hopefully it's nothing serious, hopefully it's an easy fix because I really don't like having my car in the shop. She's usually pretty good, but maybe she needs a little bit of work done and she'll be good. I mean, she's coming up on 240,000 kilometers, so it's quite a bit of kilometers. Hopefully uh, we'll get it fixed and we'll be back on the road. I don't think I'll have any time to go fishing before the kids get here or whether or not I have to get a vehicle and go pick them up. We'll see. I don't know yet. Maybe the car will be fixed before then. We'll see. Who knows? But we're going to put you on a time lapse and we're going to get this car unloaded because it's early in the day and I don't want to be out here in the heat. So we're going to get her unloaded and put away so we can get her into the shop and get fixed. And i got to make an appointment tomorrow. The van's going in to get fixed tomorrow, so that's cool. So let's get to it. So my buddies told me to set up a GoFundMe account. So I set up an account on Give, Send, Go. You guys can go over there. I'd appreciate it so much if you could just drop a $5 or $10 or whatever you can afford. I'm gonna buy a power inverter and then I will install it in the car so I can edit videos on the laptop and we can continue editing videos in the sun instead of having to do it over multiple days trying to gather enough sun power to power the laptop where I can power it from my main batteries inside the car. Once that's in there, we can continue on our adventures and go exploring. When my visit with my kids is done, uh, during the summer we'll be going camping and then we will continue on our adventures and going exploring. Okay, I am back. Car's unloaded. The bed is still in the front seat because I'm not quite sure if I'm going to be able to go fishing again or not. So we're just going to leave it until I know 100% for sure I'm going to actually take that bed out for the way I can get ready for the kids because then the freezer can go in the front seat. Yeah, once the freezer is in the front seat, then there'll be no problem. I just realized that my tan, it's like half my face is brown and the other is just white. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. It doesn't hurt anymore, thank goodness. It's pretty much done peeling. I'm gonna go wash my face and put some cream on it and then have a shower in a little while and all that fun stuff. So, I appreciate you guys following along. If you made it this far, thanks for watching my videos. I appreciate it so much. I've put tens thousands of hours into making videos on YouTube and I appreciate every view of you guys watching my channel and any of my videos that you guys put out. I'm going to get figure out some new videos and use creative ways to get some nice content out for you guys so that it actually is exciting and fun to watch. The last video surprisingly did very well and I was actually messaged and told that it was actually a pretty well put together video. Well, I mean, it was a little bit scatterbrained here and there, but the fact that I went through like all the different areas of my vehicle to say, oh, this is where I put this, this is how I do this, this is what I do for that, this is my bathroom, this is my kitchen, this is what I do, this is... It was, everybody liked it, so I, I'm very thankful. We're going to put out some new content like that. I know today was kind of boring, but the car needs to get fixed. Ah, oh, so frustrating. We just got it fixed in November. I was hoping I didn't need to go into the shop this year, but apparently it needs to go into the shop again. And it seems a little bit more serious than it was before. The engine light is just flashing. Had poop, 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 up all the hills when I got home. I was very thankful to even get home. I was actually very scared I wasn't going to get home. Probably said this already. But, uh, now I'm gonna go figure out how to make an extra few hundred bucks or a few thousand bucks and pay off my car because it's probably gonna cost a pretty penny to fix. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Peace.